So welcome to day two of the festival and we're going to start with the Fred Winter Juvenile Handicap Hurdle for the four year olds over two miles. Number one, Tyrian Sunshine for James Shea. Two, Coastal Passage for Craig Beckwith along with three, Early Worm. The Strand for Peter Savage is four, Aggressor for Kevin Meany Harris five, Hollywood Secrets Del Hinton is six, Jemima for Camera for Alex Cherry is seven, Monte Panassi Redwood for Martin Williams is eight, Thunderous Move for Paul Rose is nine, Destiny Ruby for Pontypool Racing is ten, La Dude for Peter Savage is eleven, Bullseye for James Shea is twelve, Osiris Allah for Thomas Rogers, Animator Boy for Dan Hughes, Etoile de Leon for Vinnie Gerard, Social Butterfly for Thomas Rogers, and West Leak for Ryan Costello makes up 17. These four year olds. So, challenge for the Fred Winter. And we're going to come down to the first of the eight flights they have to take. We're going to be led over them by Thunderous Mood, although West Leak on the wide outside is pushing through. Wants to lead. So it is West Leak. Really wide at the moment, still pushing through. Wants to come past the grandstand of full pelt from Early Worm in second, the one closest to us, and then further out wide again is Aggressor for Kevin Meanham. Thunderous Mood for Paul Rose has just dropped back a little bit. Got a plumb right up against the route. And the one pushing through there is Destiny Ruby, followed through by Jemima Little Camera as they go over the second. Got a poor jump at the rear by Social Butterfly. Be the last next time round, and we have a mile and a half to travel. They go off out for a circuit. And it's West League and Early Worm that are going to lead us as they swing left handed from Aggressor in third. They all tagged over towards the rail successfully. Thunderous Mood is in fourth, Destiny Ruby is five. Jamai in the camera bill, and the animator voice in the Trois de Leon. They're followed through by Tyrian Sunshine against the fence. And Mont Panasi Redwood. And Bullseye on his own. And they're followed through by Osiris Allah, the Strand, Social Butterfly, La Dude, Coastal Passage, and Hollywood Secrets is just at the rear. They get to the third. The leaders will skip over it. Everybody else, not too bad. They went over that flight. So it's West Leak and Early Worm that are going to lead us by a length and a half back to Aggressor. And then Destiny Ruby on the inside, Thunderous Mood. On the outside, Jemima the old camera. We've got Animator Voice and a Toile de Leon. Still wide is Montepanasi Redwood for Martin Leadham. Won, this, uh, won the Fred Winter for the last two seasons running. Let's see if he can continue that in SO7. But it is West Leak and Early Worm that are still leading us as we come inside seven furlongs now from an aggressor in third. And Jemima Bill Camera, Destiny Ruby. Thunderous Mood. Pushing through now to the pack is Etoile de Leon. Early Worm takes it up now as West Leak takes a bit of a break. So he gets to the fifth, then we'll skip over it. The leaders. This is a rest, but a couple of slower jumps at the rear by the Strand and Hollywood Secrets. But it's Early Worm. By length and a half now to Jemima the Bill Cameron, Destiny Ruby. Pushing through again now is Aggressor. Etoile de Leon on the outside up against the fences, Thunderous Mood. But it's Early Worm as we come down to half a mile from home. Jemima Bill Cameron on his outside in between those Destiny Ruby, Aggressor. Twilight Leon's under a little bit of pressure now, moving well on the wide outside is Bullseye, but it's Early Worm that takes them over the six, so we're just two left to take. It's Early Worm, leads by a length and a half from Jemima the Ville Camera. Bullseye still running on really well from the back, and it is Early Worm with Bullseye coming to throw down the challenge, following him through as well is Social Butterfly, but it's Early Worm that leads us into the penultimate, gets over it well. He's got a length and a half advantage from Social Butterfly that moves into second now, running up well against the fence's Destiny Ruby in thunderous mood. Again on the outside now is a side. Allah, but Early Worm's going to have to give way now inside the final furlong and a half from Destiny Ruby takes it up. It's Brown Clutterbuck's Pontypool race and Destiny Ruby is his banker of the race. Inside the final furlong from Jemima Ville Camera and Montepanasi Redwood for Marty Lidden. We lost one there. Consul Possage gone. But it's Jemima Ville Camera that takes it up. It's going to be Jemima Ville Camera from a late finish in Montepanasi Redwood. Martin didn't get to get his three Fred Winter Juveniles in a row. Gets touched off by Alex Cherries. Jemima Ville camera. Unlucky there for Martin. Once Panasi Redwood was second. Destiny Ruby for Grey Clutterback. He's banker of the, of the festival. Came in third. And Thunderous Mood for Paul Rose turned up in fourth. And the fifth place just went to Social Butterfly for Thomas Rogers. Well, I'll hand you over to Martin now. Hopefully he's got rid of that uh, aftershave. He might be uh, smelling foul, but uh, better than me sneezing.